we're here in Burlington at City Hall Park and today we are going to talk to some of the city arborists about trees and why they're so important to our town. And every time I plant a tree I think, wow, it's going to be here long after I'm gone. So it's kind of our, our gift to posterity, if you would. They're my full-time certified arborist. My foreman has been with the city 32 years. When you plant them and watch them grow, they you know, kind of like your babies. You want to take and nurture them a little bit. So it's nice to go out and visit a tree every five or six years and see what it needs and help it along. If you've ever been somewhere where there aren't any trees on the streets, it can be kind of barren and desolate looking. I know they've done studies before and shown that just the presence of trees helps with crime rates and, and mental health and all that kind of stuff. Back in the day, there's photographs of the, the whole canopy in this park were giant American elms. And when Dutch elm disease came along, it wiped them out. Very heated debate over the renovation of this park and the fact that a fair number of trees were removed to make way for that renovation. We got a greater diversity of species in the park and more importantly, a, a diversity of age class. Think of these neighborhoods, think of these parks without the trees. Stormwater mitigation, they slow the fall of rainwater, they absorb stormwater, they have the cooling effect, you know, in the downtown core here, especially in around paved surfaces, that heat island effect. And, you know, they, they sequester carbon and filter pollutants out of the air and the benefits are many. And I'm fortunate that my predecessor, you know, who started basically with nothing when he came here, he was on his own, you know, built this program to the point it is now. And, and then following the ice storm of 98, where, you know, the, the tree canopy took a real hit. Residents of Burlington, as well as the administration, really values, you know, our urban tree canopy and our open park spaces. And, they actually dedicate a lot of funds and a full-time crew to take care of it. Our crew is busy all year. We, meaning me, along with my crew of four full-time certified arborists, take care of all the trees within the city right-of-ways. So that's all trees between the sidewalk and the road throughout the city, as well as all our managed park spaces and three cemeteries. So there's about 13,000 trees that we care for. And in addition, we take care of all the landscape and flower beds. I'm not good with names of people, but I never for, have forgotten a tree I met. <laughs> we also have an inventory software system that we use to track all our work in the city. So every tree in a managed park space or in our greenways or right-of-ways, as well as the cemeteries, are all in this inventory system. There's a number of flowering crab apples, the largest trees left in the park. There's a couple of silver maples, and then we put in a number of new trees as well. Some London plane trees, a tulip tree, some swamp white oak, some elms. So as I said, we've, we've got a diversity of species here, which is really important. I mean, we know what's happened over the years with Dutch elm disease and chestnut blight back in the early 1900s. Now we're facing the emerald ash borer, so there's always a new disease or insect coming down the pike. So. This is highly skilled labor right here. <laughs> so we've got about 200 trees to plant this spring. We've planted like 13 trees already this morning. On Just, the Pine Street Corridor here. So we've been focusing on areas of the city that have lower canopy coverage or bare root. So you can see they come bagged, there's no soil on the roots. Our success rate with these is at 98, 99%. I mean, we lose very few trees. And then the next one, we got the two hot ones. And we'll spin it. Why do you get so excited about this? Well, look what we're doing. We're making a huge difference along this strip of road. And, you know, it's going to be for decades, hopefully. The cool thing about trees is they're really a legacy if they're cared for. I mean, some of our tree species live you know, certainly generations and even centuries. So it's kind of fun, you know, over the course of my 30 plus years in the business, having been a nurseryman and planted trees for people and planted trees in my nursery. And now with the city, I've planted probably conservatively 30 to 40,000 trees. I know quite a few of the trees in town. I've probably planted at least 85 to 90% of the trees that are 20 years or younger. Well, when you love what you do, it's not a long time. Why do you love this? It's just, I've always had an interest in trees. I've worked outside and with my hands um, for 
better part of 20 years now landscaping and, and that kind of manual labor stuff. And the nice thing about working for the city is too is that I'm, I'm year round doing tree work, especially in Vermont, tree work can be kind of hit or miss in the winter time just because it's so cold and the work kind of slows down. And I get to climb trees for a living and I get paid pretty good to do it. Got a lot of feedback yesterday when we were planting from residents. Thumbs up. It's the ones of our planet here, right? It's, it's part of the big picture as far as the city's climate action plan it's to continue to enhance and increase the city's tree canopy. And we're fortunate here in Burlington, uh, we had an urban tree canopy study and they mapped out how much of Burlington's total land mass is covered by tree canopy when viewed from above. And at the time it was 38%. Our urban tree canopy had actually increased by 4%, which is really remarkable because municipalities across the country are losing canopy at an alarming rate. And with our beleaguered planet, <laughs> there's nothing better we can do than to keep planting trees. 100 years you might have a huge stately specimen tree that would be something that your grandkids are telling people about. Next time you're walking around Burlington, check out the trees. We will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Is that a bee for Burlington? So that's the Parks and Rec logo. You know what I say that is? is that it's a bullseye. Nice. So it's uh, <laughs> People colors. seek you out. They think you got a bullseye. The colors, the colors are uh, is that a, is that green, bee? orange, and blue. So it's Burlington. So it's you know, Parks, Rec, and Waterfront. But that's a bee for Burlington, right? Yeah. Bee.